Today I'm out in Land Lakes, north side of Tampa in Angeline. If you missed the previous video kind of detailing what this community is all about, check it out, it's linked up above. But today I just kind of wanted to look around, show you what's happening, kind of what the first steps are of this neighborhood, and let you see for yourself. I'm Sam and this is the Living in Tampa channel. We make videos about living and moving to Tampa and all kinds of stuff like that. We also have a team of realtors here to help you buy and sell real estate in the whole Tampa area. If you do need anything like that, we would love to hear from you. Please call, text, or email. So today I'm in Angeline and we talked about this community a little bit before. I wanna show you kind of what's first because it's kind of interesting like the things they prioritize. I mentioned in the previous video like the active adult community that Lennar is building and they've already built quite a bit of houses there. People already live there. And then there's these other pockets kind of on the northeast side. You see them here on the map. They're working on building some townhouses. Lennar's building townhouses. And then DR Horton has a section over here and then Lennar has another section. I'm gonna go check all of those out. Um, I'd love to hear any questions you have about master plan communities in general, about this one specifically. And we'll, we'll get into some of the interesting things about this one and some of the, the things that I think are just exciting about it. It's, it's different. My favorite thing about this community so far is just the amount of forest. And I'm sure some more of that will get torn down. It's kind of sad. It actually makes it attractive to me to live in. And I'm pretty anti master plan community in general. So like at pretty much every property backs up to green space. And that's, that's something people ask about often. Like they want something that backs up to green space or backs up to water. There's not a whole lot of water in this community. There's obviously some little ponds and stuff but they're gonna have a lot more places that back up to green space than most communities, especially in this price range, kind of starting in the 300s. That's not super common. So I'm like riding around the neighborhood on my one wheel and they hit, there's these paths, a lot of paths that go through the neighborhood, sidewalks obviously, but then like wider paths with dotted lines. I'm pretty sure they're for golf carts. There's not gonna be a golf course, but a lot of these communities allow you to drive a golf course all over. It's gonna be really big. There's gonna be, you know, trails and there's gonna be a farm. There's going to be, you know, the big lagoon. And then it's going to connect to more commercial space south of here down by that new high school. You see the high school here on the shots, like pretty much the high school is the only thing being built there right now because it's, it's set to open in August, like students going there in August. I keep seeing these little sections of like street parking. It looks like golf cart parking and like regular car parking. I think that's where the mailboxes will be. And so like you can, you know, park there and like grab your mail or park your golf cart there and grab your mail or even your bike, I guess. The only houses you can actually buy in here right now are the 55 plus community. I'm sure the townhouses will be for sale next, but there's, I mean, it's still just like the beginning. I'm surprised I'm able to just kind of freely roam out here like this. So this like golf cart trail I'm on just like ends and just goes into dirt. I mean, maybe it'd be nice to be so early in a development. What do you guys think if you're like really early, stuff isn't quite ready yet. I wonder if you're like HOA and stuff like that's prorated during that phase. It's interesting because there will be amenities for like the community overall, the, like the lagoon and those kind of things, but the active adult community, that's what they call it, the 55 plus community, they'll have like their own clubhouse and pool and court and, and all of that. So in this DR Horton section, it says the model's coming soon. They haven't broke ground on it. It looks like they have power and water probably, um, which I guess are <laughs> important parts, but they haven't like started on the foundation or anything. In this area of Florida, they just use bags of concrete to like make barriers. They do that in other areas too. I mean, they just like put the bag there. They just let the, the packaging decompose. Here you can see another one right here. And this is like the, the roadway. This whole place is like so undeveloped right now that I like I kind of hardly know where I am. I think I'm over on like the Southeast side. So I'm probably close almost to like Ridge Road. Um, there's there's just long roads that go through here that they're obviously not going to develop around So it seems like they're just gonna do homes and like pockets and pockets and pockets And then they'll leave a bunch of open areas like it seems like they're gonna do homes out here Maybe this is gonna be the lagoon. I don't really know People often think of Florida as like just very stereotypical things You know whether it's just the beach or just the city or it's just this kind of superficial kind of thing but one of the things that surprised me most about the Tampa area is this entire north side is so like foresty and is not like just palm trees you know you still have palm trees in the middle of this kind of stuff but it's just like pine trees I mean if you're if you're familiar with the south you, you know that the, the amount of pine trees down here is crazy but there's just dense forest out here and I hope they really preserve a lot of that that would make this neighborhood like really really cool for the Tampa area 
something that you would find a little more inland, but it would give this kind of unique touch to this area. I talked about in other videos, this area is like surrounded by preserves. So you have the Starkey Preserve to the west, you have the Connor Preserve to the east, you have the another preserve on the east as well, I don't remember what it's called. You see here on the map, like it's surrounded by protected land. So the area around here is going to stay pretty protected, and that makes it appealing to me. So I kind of got in trouble for being out here. Um, I didn't technically go past a road close sign, probably because it wasn't like on the trail, but they're like, you went right past it. Yeah, I don't think I did. Um, but <laughs> this road apparently dead ends over here on the east side of the neighborhood. So I got to head back up all the way to the front. So that guy told me, the guy that got onto me for trespassing, told me that the, this area isn't even opened by the county yet. So it hasn't like been finally inspected. He was telling me the county's like breathing down his neck about people sneaking out here. I, I don't know if that's true, but um, he was just doing his job. But there you go, your first public preview of this east side of Angeline. Here's the road closed sign that he thinks I went by. I didn't, I went another way, so I'm all right. Okay, I wanna share what I think is the best thing about Angeline and what I think is the worst thing. Best thing in all of real estate, location, location, location. The way that it sits in between Highway 52 and 54 and then right along the toll road 589 is pretty ideal. Like if you're gonna live out in the suburbs, like you have incredible access like that. And access I think is, you know, such an important thing that we often forget. Like right now we have, we're where we live is like walking distance to a couple things and that's so nice this will have maybe some walking distance stuff in the community amenities at least but then to be easy driving distance not just like driving distance so some of the other master plan communities it's like yeah you can get to downtown in 45 minutes but it's kind of a painful drive driving on this toll road is so different then what I think is the worst thing about Angeline. Now, what I'm saying is if you were to buy an Angeline soon, is it's just so early. Like if I were to think about buying a house here, I'd want to wait at least a year to see kind of how it develops, what else they tear down. There's obviously more forest they have to clear, like all of that noise and stuff going on is a lot to deal with. And the beginning of it, just being this 55 plus community is kind of strange to me. Like I wouldn't want to just be here with like a couple families and mostly retired people actually i don't know running into older people on the road when i, when I have my kids is always fun but it's still it's just kind of a different vibe it's not what you expect of like a very family focused kind of community previously i called the style of these homes modern tuscan i just kind of made that up but maybe it's kind of like modern key west what would you call the style of these homes you see them right here this is actually the 55 plus community so what questions do you guys have? How can I further explain everything going on out here and help you understand? I'm gonna keep making like monthly videos about master plan communities and we'll kind of highlight a few of them. I'll keep coming back to this one and kind of sharing updates along the way as I kind of get access to new parts of it and as they build model homes and, and things like that. Oh, and if you like this video, you might like this video about Murata. Maybe you've already seen it. We kind of did like a vlog tour of Murata just to kind of check out what that master plan community is like. It is built by the same developer. So also built by Metro Development Group. Kind of interesting that they're taking over this kind of North Pasco County. As always, if you want to buy or sell real estate in the Tampa area, we want to be your real estate choice. Now, not just people moving here, but if you already live here and you need help, we want to help you too. So call, text, email anytime, and we would love to get you started in our process and just see how we can help. Thanks for coming by.